sends out part of its cell like a long nose as it searches for food. And at the base of its nose is a mouth-like opening where food is taken into its cell. The red-colored eye spot we see in this euglena is a special area of its cell that functions like an eye. In more complicated creatures, eyes are made up of millions of cells. Because they are simple structures, eye spots can only tell light from dark and cannot tell one shape from another. And finally, the bristles on the side of this protozoan called a euploides move in ways that remind us of the arms or legs of more complex animals. They are very useful in capturing food. The animal protozoa take food into their single cells in several different ways. One of the most common ways of feeding uses short beating hairs called cilia. One way that cilia are used in feeding can be understood by watching a stentor feed. As the cilia that surrounds its gaping mouth rapidly beat the water, whirlpools are created that pull in food, just like water being pulled down a drain. These stentors method of feeding appears to be very effective because they can grow to be quite large compared to most other protists. Another protozoan that uses cilia to capture food is called a vorticella. A vorticella is a creature that lives attached by a muscular stalk to underwater objects. From wherever it is attached, a vorticella can twirl around the water as it creates a powerful whirlpool that sucks tiny algae, small protozoa, and bacteria into its large open mouth. If a vorticella senses danger, it can shorten its stalk and quickly disappear from view. Of all the protozoa that feed with the help of cilia, the paramecia seen here are usually the most common in pond environments. Under high magnification, the cilia can be seen beating around the oral groove that makes up part of the paramecium's mouth. Once bacteria or diatoms are drawn inside of the paramecium, tiny sacs called food vacuoles form. Digestion takes place inside of these food vacuoles, which act almost like a human stomach. After nutrient chemicals have been extracted from the food, waste material is ejected from the food vacuoles into the surrounding water. Like many other protists, this paramecium also has a pair of contractile vacuoles that can be seen slowly filling with water from inside the cell, and then pumping it to the outside. By doing this, the contractile vacuoles control the cell's water content, just like kidneys control the water content in the human body. Beneath the paramecium's outer skin, or pellicle, is a layer called the cell or plasma membrane. The plasma membrane has an important role to play in the life of every cell by regulating much of what enters and leaves the cell. Many paramecia have two nuclei within their cells. One is large and is called a macronucleus. The other, almost impossible to see, is small and is called a micronucleus. The micronucleus is important in cell reproduction and the macronucleus controls the cell's day-to-day -day functions. This protozoan, called an amoeba, has no definite body shape and its nucleus can be very clearly seen. It feeds by sending out projections of its cell called pseudopods or false feet.